Um, so all those little nuances that you're training your mind, let alone getting that muscle memory in your body and your mind at the same time. So it's a long journey. Like it's not going to happen. And, and overnight. the efficiency of that, you learn a move and maybe it takes you, you know, if you can say, okay, this move has 12 segments, whatever that is, my elbow comes up, my hand goes down my this, sure. you know, it's, you can, you can, and then by the time you get to black belt, you can do that in one continuous fluid, you know, so it is a continuum. It's not, um, you know, it's a movement pattern, but there, you will keep honing and honing and rounding those corners over time <clears throat> till, till it becomes a very smooth thing. And that's, you know, one of the difficulties uh, of jujitsu as well as just becoming very fluid in your movement patterns. Very, yeah. And very, very matter of fact, right? Like mm -hmm. fluid. And like you said, one thing you can't do one without the other. I was talking to one of the, uh, one of the white belts the other night and he's like, I get stuck in side control a lot. Don't yeah. we all, right? That's one of them. And there's side control escapes. But what I try to do is, okay, what are you doing to get your guard pass and ending up in side control? Yeah. So most of my guys or most, a lot of guys are either framing and not shrimping or shrimping and not framing, Yes. which you have to do them both together, like you said, and get those fluid mo mo uh, movements together. Well, you know, one of the big epiphanies I think is that, and, you know, I actually told this to my, my students the other day is that I... I think that there is a, in some ways, a, a, a fundamental flaw in the way that we teach jujitsu in that we tend to teach escape sequences from the worst possible scenario. So side control escape, you're flat on your back. You've got to get your <laughs> arms into posture. And now we start the escape. Well, wait a minute Yeah. between them crossing the knee line and getting past your guard and you going flat on your back, there were a ton of opportunities Time. for you to reconfigure yourself in a way that makes more sense. But yeah. sometimes because we're learning these escape sequences from the worst case scenario, the minute someone passes your guard, your response is to just go flat on your back because in your 